Hey, it's Roger from Lesson Jake. How are you doing? We actually do feel the love. It's amazing. We've uh, we've done the Warped Tour an insane amount of times, and it's great to know the people behind the scenes as well as we do, and the production and the staging guys and all those guys like that. Like just we just feel at home with them, you know. So it's it's like summer camp that we missed out on for a couple of years, and it's always great to come back. Yeah, I mean that's that's sort of a, an awesome side effect of the whole being in a band thing. Um, I don't think that we ever really intended when we started writing songs 20 some years ago that well, like someday we're going to inspire younger bands. I, that's never part of the game plan, but we have been around a long time. A lot of these guys, like when we when they first started playing, you know, they were checking us out. So um, it's pretty amazing, actually. It's a uh, it's a healthy benefit. It's cool. It's like oh, I've loved you guys since I was in junior high, and you're like wow. That's I remember what I was like in junior high, and those bands were really important to me, so it, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, man, it's kind of crazy. We um, we sort of have to be selective and sort of play the hits and sort of go for the throat on something like this. We're only playing like a half hour or 35 minutes. Um, sometimes entire records get omitted from the set list because we, we uh, try to play our best stuff and try to play the stuff that we think people would know or that they might recognize from something. So, yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a trip. On this tour, actually, we will be playing our 365th Warp Tour show. Um, I don't know if I'm excited about that or just can't believe I wasted a year of my life look, searching for showers and clean porta potties. But um, it's you know it's a great legacy. Nobody, nobody else has ever done that, so it's it's cool. I'm excited. We're gonna have a birthday party, get some balloons, and uh, what did I say? You know, we started in '97 and we were lucky. We did the European Warp Tour in '99. We did the Australian Warp Tour, and uh, we just have a great relationship with Kevin and uh, he's happy to welcome us back you know time and time again and here we are we did it 2011 here we are three years later doing the whole thing again so can't complain about it man <laughs> oh yeah well the first world tour we did was 97 and we were on I think four weeks of the tour and we were playing what was called the camo stage and it was just a flatbed truck with no covering of any sort we were just in the sun and we were sharing the stage with one of my all-time favorite bands the Descendants and the Suicide Machines were on that stage, and just a whole list of you know punk rock bands that I was into, you know. So it was amazing to just be out there and be on the same stage with those bands and and playing to like people that had never heard of us before, but getting involved in the show it was super fun. It definitely has changed a lot. Uh, we, you know, we were traveling and not a tour bus back then, and now it's much more relaxing. And there was only I think 300 people on the Warp Tour back then, and now that number's over 900. So it was definitely smaller. Uh, well, you know, honestly, we try to treat our fans well, and we try to, um, we always kind of had some integrity with the music, and we're like, you know, we're only going to play songs we really like, and things we feel are real, you know, we're not going to, like, follow any trends, or, or succumb to any, like, the latest of whatever's going on, so I think just being true to our songs definitely helped, we love playing our songs, and we're lucky in that way, and just that, you know, we try to reward our fans, and have fun releases, and toys, and knickknacks, and, uh, surprises, and, I don't know, try to uh, stay in people's brains and try to write the best songs we can. Yeah, well, the packaging of, of the CD or the record or whatever it is, we always thought that was super important. And that comes from myself and our drummer Vinny, who both like kind of like avid toy collectors. And there's a certain beauty when you have that toy and it's in the package and you don't want to open it. And the artwork's great, the graphics are great, you know. So we kind of try to extend some of that into the, into the band stuff. And we always try to have fun packaging. And yeah, definitely these days people just download something and maybe it gets you know thrown on their phone or something, and that's about the extent of it. But there are still a lot of people out there that you know they appreciate vinyl, they appreciate liner notes, they want to read about you know what it was like to make them, they want to read the lyrics, they want to know about the recording and that kind of thing. So it's we still uh, we still strive to make cool packages and have the records feel cool in your hand while you're listening to the music. Yeah, um, well our latest record, See the Light, was a uh, kind of. Uh, a bit of new ground for the band. Um, we had recorded stuff on our own where I was the producer and we had no other hands involved in it before, but this was the first time that we did that sort of as a full record where it was not just one song, an idea for a song as a single, but you know, overall idea for a whole record. So it feels great, man. I was actually listening to it a little bit last night and it was very refreshing and I, I was very proud of it. And uh, a lot of our fans have responded great to it. We've been playing a couple of the songs live and it seems to fit in with our other stuff and it's just seamless, you know? So I think that we're lucky that we were able to pull together something that feels so uh, true to the band this far down the line in our career. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. It does feel like a bit of a rebirth, and especially playing these songs and 
to the Warp Tour to these younger fans. A lot of these kids here have never seen us play, so they're they're picking up the new CD. That might be you know the record got, that gets them hooked for junior high or whatever. So hopefully we'll be playing those songs for years and years. Yeah, a lot, we we get a lot of parents that come down. They're like, oh, this is my 14 year old daughter's her first show. It's her first Warp Tour. You know, I wanted to see you guys because I saw you guys in '99 or whatever, and you're like, wow, this is mind blowing, man. It's a family event. Yeah, man. Uh, well, this is a very busy year for touring for Lesson Jake. We, um, we're going to be playing in Russia for the first time, which we're really excited about. And uh, we have a few festivals. We'll be doing a tour across Canada in October. We'll be playing our own um, hometown festival called the Wake and Bake Weekend. It's two nights that we play in Gainesville. We play very obscure stuff and all that. And we'll be playing the Fest in Gainesville as well at the end of October. And then I think we'll be taking a little bit of a well-deserved break until uh, early next year where you can find us on the road with our buddies in Real Big Fish doing a U.S. tour. I I'll do something else. I usually end up singing like songs that I'm working on with other bands in the studio or something like that and like random stuff, but I'll... I'll okay, ready? Should I turn the shower on or no? Okay. Ready. I'm singing in the rain Just in the rain, what a glorious feeling, I'm happy again, I walk down the lane, just singing, singing in the rain. Alright man, it's been fun talking to you or anything, but I actually need to shower, so I'll catch you guys later, take it easy.